into him. His work continued with his birth inside a cattle stall. Mary laid him in the hay, so soft and pink and small. When fully grown, Jesus labored on healing for the blind, in preaching good news to the poor, in actions pure and kind. We'll talk about him later. One Thursday, after Jesus gave communion to his friends, they ran away and left their Lord, abandoned him in the end. They ran because some angry men tied Jesus' hands and feet. They kicked and hit and spat on him, then dragged him down the street. On Friday morning, Jesus stood at Pilate's judgment place. Then Jesus suffered whips and blows and slaps upon his face. But all of this he gladly bore, and willingly he died. He earned salvation full and free when he was crucified. <laughs> it is finished, Jesus cried that Friday afternoon. A man named Joseph took him down and laid him in a tomb. By Jewish law, each Friday was the day all work must cease. So Jesus had a Sabbath rest, his labor now complete. The week is done, salvation won. In Sunday morning light, the Son of God rose from the dead. Oh, what a joyous sight. Your Lord's great work of suffering was taken up for you. You now possess the gift of life because his work is through. You now have Jesus' holiness. Sin's death has been released. Because of Jesus' death and life, you now have God's word of peace. So every Sunday morning word, through water, wine, and bread, God's people are assured that they shall rise up from the dead. Ooh, there's the Eucharist, huh? The end. Yay! Okay, now, we're going to do this like this. All the nursery kids can go that way, and they're out by the flagpole, take lots of pictures and check the candy. And then we're going to have the four-year-olds or pre-K through first grade are going to go out now. If you